Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am so excited to be sharing with you my top concealers and foundations of 2018. So these are the ones that I have just been reaching for continuously and cannot seem to put down. So yes, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you all today. Also, filming with a new camera so hopefully, pray to God that everything is good, that the I don't know how the sound is going to be on this yet. I may have to get a external microphone. Um, but yes, so if anything's kind of different, then that is why I'm still getting to know the camera and the settings and all that good stuff. So <laughs> forgive me if anything seems kind of off, I will get it fixed, I promise. But if you are excited to hear what my top foundations and concealers of this year were, then just keep on watching. Also, if there's red lipstick on my teeth, we're just gonna act like it's not there. Currently, one o'clock in the morning, but I'm trying to get this video filmed so I can edit it tomorrow and get it up tomorrow. Technically today, but you you get it, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start with foundations and I'm going to do my drugstore and then my high end. So for a drugstore, number one would be, and this is not in any particular order. Okay, this is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation and this is in the shade Nude Beige. I absolutely love this. If I'm looking for a full coverage but skin-like look that is not super heavy on the skin, um, it just looks so flawless, this is what I go for. And I don't find it to be too drying. I don't find it to be like too matte or like too flat. It really does have like that second skin effect on your skin. I've said skin a lot. <laughs> I know Ulta carries this, but they only have, I think, four shades right now. Um, the website, I want to say, has like 18 to 20. I'm not like 100% sure, but I know they just expanded their shade range on their website. So hopefully it'll be coming to Ulta soon, the expanded shade range. But for now, um, you can get four shades at Ulta and then the rest are on their website. So really, really love this. Um, the packaging looks super luxe and kind of, you know, more high end. Um, has a dropper applicator which I'm not the biggest fan of but then again it's not the worst either so really like this I find it to be very long wearing and it doesn't seem to emphasize any texture pores dry patches anything like that so I love it I feel like it would honestly be good for both dry normal and oily skin I mean in my opinion so next up is Maybelline Super State full coverage foundation um, this is just a super good full coverage. I would say this is like more of a makeup-y full coverage than like the Catrice one. Um, it's a little bit more thick on the skin. So like it's one of those, you can tell you're wearing makeup, but it doesn't look cakey. Um, I find it to be super full coverage and definitely very long wearing. And for my oily skin, that is like what I look for. I don't want my makeup to be like breaking up. I really really love this stuff and I do um, mix a couple shades or if I'm just like not self tanned I'll use the lighter shade and if I'm more self tanned then I'll use the other shade um, but I have a 128 warm nude and 220 natural beige I need to get some lighter shades too for whenever I'm like <laughs> really really pale this winter so but I've been loving this so so much it doesn't break me out either and just for the record I have very sensitive acne prone oily skin so with Quite a bit of texture. <laughs> Lucky me. Okay, and next is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is actually in the old packaging since they revamped their brand, kind of. Um, I know that they recently went cruelty free as well, which is amazing. Um, yeah, this is like the older packaging of it. I know now it's more like sleek and just kind of like simplistic, I guess you could say. Um, but I really, really like this. It does have SPF in it as well, which is awesome. This is one of those that I reach for more on like my natural makeup days to where I don't want to look, you know, too, too full coverage, but this can definitely be built up, I would say like a medium buildable coverage. So it looks really, really nice. It gives your skin like a nice glow, like a bit of a dewiness, but even with my oily skin, I find this works really well. It's not the most long wearing for oily skin, but um, I mean, as long as you set it, I would say you would be good for quite a few hours with that foundation. Okay, and this is kind of like a 
two in one type deal for me <laughs> because I don't wear these two separately. I wear them all the time mixed with one another. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and then the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. So I mix both of these together. In the Pro Matte, I have shade 105 Natural Beige and then in the Pro Glow, I have shade 207 Sand Beige. So yes, I will mix these two. I don't ever like I said, I don't ever use them separately. I don't think I have at least. I may try that sometime soon, but I really just love the finish that these two give mixed. Um, like a satin matte finish, like with a little bit of a glow from the Pro Glow formula. So I really, really love these mixed together. Um, the shade range is not the best, so I definitely think that they could improve on that. It says they're up to 24 hour foundations. I'm not like completely sure about that because I don't ever wear my foundation for 24 hours, but I do find that when I wear these together, they do seem to be quite long wearing for me. Okay, and now we're moving on to the high-end foundations. First is going to be the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is in the shade Fawn, and this is a super liquidy, but very, very full coverage foundation. When I'm telling you that you need like one pump and that covers your entire face, probably like your neck and chest as well. Like it seriously will cover everything. Um, the first time I used this, I think I, I have like a first impressions wear test video on my channel for this. I will try to link it up here um, so you can check it out. Yeah, when I tried it, I remember I was so shocked by how it literally covered up even like my dark circles. And I was like, whoa. Like I honestly didn't even have to use concealer to cover them up, but I mean, I still did because I'm extra like that, I guess. But like this stuff has amazing coverage. Um, it's super, super liquidy. I really like the packaging though. Like it's a frosted glass bottle, comes with a pump and like a gold, gold top. Um, it's just, it's really, really good. You guys, they have 50 shades and I know you can purchase them on Jouer's website as well as Sephora's website. It's not available yet in Sephora, like on site locations, like at their actual store but you can purchase it on Sephora's website as well. Highly recommend, super long wearing, super full coverage, and it doesn't break me out, so I'm here for it. Next, this is the one that I discovered this year that I have just been hooked on. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and this is a medium to full coverage foundation. It does say that it's like an undetectable finish, so, which implies that it has like a you know, a skin type finish, um, like a second skin effect, if that makes sense. It doesn't look too makeup y, and I feel like it has a kind of like a, I feel like it has like a demi matte finish. Um, it's not super, like, it doesn't look super dry. You know, it doesn't emphasize any dry patches. Yeah, and it also gives your skin like a nice glow without looking too oily or too greasy. And it seems to be fairly long wearing. I do find that I have to set it quite well if I want it to be super long wearing, just for the fact of me having oily skin but again this is so good and they like expanded their shade range with um, the help of Jackie Ina and I think that is awesome uh, yes this is so so good it doesn't break me out it just have a little bit of a scent um, I really like the packaging as well it's a frosted glass bottle and it has a pump so yeah okay next is the Huda Beauty faux filter foundation I have this in the shade 150 G creme brulee this is actually what I'm wearing today mixed with the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth foundation um, this is such a full coverage foundation you guys it is like it says it gives your face like a filter look like a filter effect it is beautiful I do hear that some people that have sensitive skin can break out with this foundation I think due to like the fragrance that's in it but luckily this does not have that effect on me so you need like one pump and it covers your whole face it just I can't get over the coverage of it it is just beautiful it is not too drying it's not that like drying of a matte finish it's more of like a demi matte finish I would say it's definitely one of those you're gonna be able to tell that you're wearing makeup but it doesn't look bad and it does not look cakey like it's definitely one of those where it's like if I want my face to be locked in place all day and everything to be covered up if I'm having you know a bit of a bad skin day and I need like really really full coverage that is the foundation that I go for. Last for foundations is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is in the shade 3.5N. Again, this is a shade where I have to be pretty self-tan to wear it, but I can mix it with some others to kind of lighten it a little bit um, for when I'm not self-tanned. But I love this foundation. I would say it's definitely a medium buildable foundation. I would say, honestly, you could probably even do 
a light coverage of it like if you do a little bit and blend it out with a beauty, with a beauty sponge beauty blender whatever but this can definitely be built up to be i would say quite full coverage and it has a bit of a demi matte kind of a satin finish to it i would say it does add a bit of a glow without looking oily so that's if you can kind of get like the pattern that's kind of what i go for i don't like anything that looks too drying um i really like this one this is really good for kind of those more natural makeup days they have like a lot of shades of this as well so that's not another plus of the foundation and it's just a I mean, it's a really lightweight bottle. I feel like it'd be really good for travel. And it's definitely like one of those more liquidy foundations. It does also have a bit of a scent to it, but it doesn't, you know, mess up my skin. So hopefully it doesn't mess yours up if you try it. So it doesn't seem to be like a super long wearing foundation. But again, that's for kind of a more like natural, um, just day-to-day -day makeup looks that I'll use that foundation. Okay, and now we are moving on to concealers. I will start with my drugstore. This is a concealer that I use strictly for just carving out my eyebrows. So this is the NYX Full Coverage Concealer, and it comes in a little pot like that. I mean, I really, really like it for carving out my brows. Um, this is in the shade Light, by the way. And I've not seen this at Ulta anymore, so I really hope that they still have it on like NYX's website because it's really, really good for carving out your brows. I've heard people say it's kind of a dupe for the MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot, but I don't know because I haven't tried that. But again, love this for carving out the brows. It does just does a really good job, blends out really easily, and is very full coverage. So next is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade 020 Light Beige. The shade range with this stuff is the worst. Like I think they have three or four shades. It's terrible like i really hope that they expand their shade range with that um but it's super super full coverage it says it's also a uh, last 12 hours and it's waterproof i can't exactly like speak to those claims because i've not tested that out but this stuff is really really good super full coverage um i've heard it compared to the tarte shape tape i don't know if i would say it's an exact dupe but it's definitely up there with the coverage of tarte shape tape like it's really, really good it doesn't seem to crease too much either so love it but again, Catrice, please expand your shade range because this is like so good and I know more people want to try it and love it and purchase it. So please just expand your shade range. Okay, so this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. I have two shades. Actually, I have shade Porcelain and shade Creamy Beige. You can definitely tell when I like a concealer like a lot, a lot because I have multiple shades of them. Normally more for like my drugstore concealers because high-end concealers, they're expensive, okay. <laughs> These are like $3.99 or $4.99, I wanna say, and they have actually recently expanded their shade range, so LA girl, stepping up your game. This concealer is amazing. It is. It does not crease on me. I don't know what it is. I, I crease very easily with concealers because, and honestly, if you have lines under your eyes, you're gonna crease. I'm sorry, that's just the way that's the way that the skin works. But this seems to not crease as much whatsoever on me. It's like a very natural finish, but it's very full coverage. It doesn't look too thick or cakey, and it doesn't look too drying under the eyes. I absolutely love it. It is so, so good. It does have a brush tip, which some people don't really like. And it's honestly not my favorite either, but I get over that because of how good the concealer is. It's just beautiful. Okay, my last drugstore concealer is the Collab No Flaws Liquid Concealer. Recently discovered this um, when they sent it to me earlier in the year. This is not sponsored. This is, I'm not getting paid to say this, none of that. I just instantly fell in love with this, you guys. It is a super, I would say medium natural finish concealer. It's not super full coverage, but it definitely does cover up all of my dark circles and it's beautiful. It has a very, I would say, natural finish to it. It's not cakey. I have this in the shade 0203 Ivory Sand and it does have a nice, it's more of like a flat doe foot applicator. Um, so it's a little bit different. It's not like bent or anything. I really like it. It's kind of a medium consistency. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. And I just really like the way that it looks under the eyes. It's definitely very brightening and it's just, I love it. And it doesn't seem to crease super badly on me as well. Okay, and now moving on to the high-end concealers. 
first one is going to be the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is in the shade Vanilla. Love this. Um, this is another very full coverage, but not drying. Um, I've heard it compared to Tarte Shape Tape, but just a less drying type. And I can definitely agree with that. It is so full coverage, but it really just kind of helps to blur and like cover the pores. Like it just leaves a very flawless finish on the skin and I love it. Um, I love the bottle too, another frosted glass bottle. It does have like a massive doe foot applicator. Like it's huge, <laughs> but I really, really like it. And it also doesn't do a terrible job of creasing on me. So that's another plus. And another one is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. This is in the shade Medium, and I love this for my natural makeup days. This is one that is not too full coverage. It is honestly very lightweight. I would say light to medium coverage, and it does have that serum feel and like the serum look. It looks very... It looks very skin like and it definitely is more it's definitely more glowy than it is like a matte concealer so but I do find that it does still work even with my oily skin so I I just love it for my natural makeup days it does also have a nice little flat doe foot applicator it's not full coverage it's not full coverage at all I'll go ahead and say that but I love it it can tend to crease a little bit more than I prefer but I really just love the healthy glow it gives like under your eyes. It just really helps you look a little bit more awake and I love that. <laughs> and last but not least for concealers is the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This is in the shade Creme Brulee. It was like love at first use, you guys. It is so, so good. I'm gonna say it's very thick consistency, like it's not liquidy at all. They have quite a few shades, I'm fairly certain. It's another one of those that really just blurs out the pores and really helps to brighten the under eyes. It does not seem to crease too badly on me and it seems to be very long wearing as far as I've been able to tell. And I've been raging for this all the time. I absolutely love it, definitely. Probably took the cake for like number one concealer of the year in my opinion. Highly recommend it if you have not tried it yet. You should definitely try it. <laughs> it's so, so good. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video for my top concealers and foundations of 2018. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments what some of your favorites were of the year. I would love to hear them and hopefully try some new ones out that I've not tried yet. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me and I really appreciate it. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, please don't forget to do so and hit that little notification bell too so that you're notified every time I upload. I do upload new videos weekly except for when life gets crazy, super hectic, and I apologize, okay? <laughs> but thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye! Really from beard. You want to tell him bye? Say bye. <laughs>